This week on Jambar TV, we'll talk about the upcoming solar eclipse on April 8th. Then we'll get into the dance club and how you can get involved. Then we'll also look into YSU's Pro Day and how athletes performed in front of NFL scouts. Hello and welcome back to Jambar TV. I'm Matt Sautler. Ethan Faulkner was appointed head coach of the YSU men's basketball team on April 1st following Jared Calhoun's leave from the position. Faulkner joined the staff in August of 2019 and was named associate head coach in 2022. Under Calhoun, Faulkner coached 11 All Horizon League selections and helped win 98 games over five years. With his hire as head coach, executive director of athletics, Ron Strollo, stated that we feel very fortunate to have someone of Faulkner's caliber step into this role and lead our program. Jambar TV will have more on the developing story next week. Three YSU groups are hosting events for the celestial event of the century. News editor Christopher Gillette has details on watching the eclipse April 8th. YSU's Planetarium is hosting a solar eclipse viewing event at the Foxconn EV Services parking lot. That's on Halleck Young Road in Lordstown. Astronomy professor Patrick Durrell said the professors wanted to have an eclipse viewing event close to Youngstown. You know, we tried to make an event where, uh, you know, people didn't have to feel they had to drive all the way to Cleveland or Kent or anything to see the eclipse. Durrell said the attendees will only see a minute and a half of the eclipse's totality in Lordstown. The telescopes we're bringing to Foxconn uh, on April 8th will have, you know, proper uh, high quality solar filters on them so it's perfectly safe to view. Alongside that, the YSU Society of Physics is inviting community members to Geneva Township Park at Geneva on the Lake to view the eclipse. SPS President Alex Abair and Vice President Amanda Keating discuss what residents attending can expect. So this is kind of just like bringing awareness to not only like um, Youngstown State students, the SPS club members and the community members that this is something really cool that's happening that they can go see. Geneva on the Lake will be in the line of totality within the Northeast Ohio region. Full totality is when the moon completely covers the sun. The YSU Student Activities Department is hosting a booked bus trip to the Great Lakes Center in Cleveland to view the eclipse. The eclipse will be viewable around 3 p.m. Reporting for Jambar TV, I'm Christopher Gillette. Hungry students have access to free meals. Organizations like the Dorothy Day House and Our Community Kitchen are close to campus. These groups help folks with the need with hot free meals and a sense of community. Daniel Wakefield, co-coordinator of the Dorothy Day House, said they provide emotional support to those who are marginalized. By forming a community here um, where people feel accepted, welcomed, um, and valued, and they feel that personalism, they feel the dignity, um, I think that makes a big difference. Dorothy Day House serves meals Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Our Community Kitchen serves breakfast Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m., and lunch from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Youngstown State University's director of the Office of Career Exploration and Development, Crystal Bannon, recently published a children's book. Caring Through Cancer, A Story of Love and Strength, follows Maceo, a young boy whose mother is diagnosed with cancer. Bannon, a breast cancer survivor, said she was inspired to write the book for her son after noticing the lack of books that discuss cancer among families. When I was originally going to tell him about mommy being sick, I, of course, went to Amazon and looked for books and options, and there wasn't a lot out there. So as I started to do some research through, like, KDP and how to, you know, publish a book on my own, I thought, you know what, let me just do it. Let me just try and do this, and I just couldn't be more thrilled that it got released last week. The book is on sale on Amazon for $10.97. It is also available as an e-book. IT services are offering to help students through monthly tech talks. IT staff make themselves available for students monthly. The talks focus on different tech topics. Sean Melnick is the Associate Director of IT Training. Melnick said the idea came from the analysis of the IT department's work. We did kind of a needs assessment in the beginning of the fall semester last year just to see what students were uh, submitting ticket requests for, or what they were inquiring for with the service desk, 
and making sure that we're addressing those needs. Last month's Tech Talk was YSU-related application-themed. Some examples included Blackboard and Microsoft 365. Keep an eye out on your YSU email for information on April's Tech Talk. If you need help with YSU technology outside the Tech Talk, go to the IT Service Desk in the Kilcauley Center. The desk is located across from the Penguin plug-in and behind the Jamba Juice. It's been terribly cold this past week and weekend, but it's supposed to warm up this Monday. Let's go to Reagan with the weather. After a long week of rain, it looks like this weekend we'll have plenty of sunshine, not to mention Monday's solar eclipse. I'll have a more detailed report after the break. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Y'all gon' ride forever, we gon' ride, we gon' ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. We gon' push it to the limit. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Y'all gon' ride forever, we gon' ride, we gon' ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. We gon' push it to the limit. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Y'all gon' ride forever. We know you hear it all the time. Why Youngstown State University? Why go to a school in the Mahoning Valley of Northeastern Ohio, surprisingly beautiful as that may be? Why live on a campus that sits on the edge of the Rust Belt, historic and inspiring as that may be? In short, why choose Youngstown State? Here's why. Because when it comes to engineering, medicine, sports, business, and the skills you need to take your place in the future, we take a back seat to nobody because you can afford us and we will afford you the opportunity to build the future you want and the life you desire. Why Youngstown State? Because we care about you, your success and our future, together. Youngstown State University, now you know why. So, who knows why? I know why. For starters, I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. Can you say that? Engineering, sports, music, business, I can do anything here. I'm getting my hands dirty learning what my friends are only reading about. I'm part of something bigger here. I'm proud to bleed red and black. So yeah, I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. Welcome back to Jambar TV. I'm Reagan Hilton and this is your weekly weather outlook. Let's take a look at my four day forecast. Today will be cloudy with cloud coverage at 96% and a high of 41 degrees. There's a 94% chance for precipitation as there may be a mixture of snow and rain. At night, the temps will drop to 32 degrees and the chance for precipitation will reduce to 25%. Tomorrow will be breezy with a high of 48 degrees. Cloud coverage is at 45% and there's a low chance for rain. At night, there will be a low of 31 degrees and the chance for rain will decrease even more. On Sunday, we'll see a high of 60 degrees with mostly sunny skies as the cloud coverage will be around 23%. Sunday night, the temps will drop to 37 degrees with a low chance for rain. At the start of the week, the high will be 65 degrees with periods of clouds and sun throughout the day, cloud coverage staying at 69%. At night, the low will be 44 degrees and there is a low chance for rain once again. Don't forget the solar eclipse that will take place on Monday as well. Make sure you grab your eclipse glasses and maybe a raincoat. Severe thunderstorms could put a damper on eclipse watching next week. Parts of the United States could see damaging winds, hail, rain, and perhaps a tornado. There's a chance violent storms could hold off until late afternoon. Just long enough for eclipse watchers to get a decent view of the phenomenon. But cloud coverage could still possibly obscure the sky. Plus, storms firing up later in the day could impact post-eclipse travel. That's all we have for this week's weather outlook. Stick around because John Ostopowitz will be telling us about the YSU Society of Women Engineers.
right, so, who knows why? I know why. For starters, I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. Can you say that? Engineering, sports, music, business, I can do anything here. I'm getting my hands dirty, learning what my friends are only reading about. I'm part of something bigger here. I'm proud to bleed red and black. So yeah, I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. Why Youngstown State University? Because when it comes to the skills you need to take your place in the world, we take a backseat to nobody. Youngstown State University, now you know why. Why Youngstown State University? Because I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. I can do anything here. I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. We know you hear it all the time. Why Youngstown State University? Why go to a school in the Mahoning Valley of Northeastern Ohio, surprisingly beautiful as that may be? Why live on a campus that sits on the edge of the Rust Belt? historic and inspiring as that may be. In short, why choose Youngstown State? Here's why. Because when it comes to engineering, medicine, sports, business, and the skills you need to take your place in the future, we take a back seat to nobody because you can afford us and we will afford you the opportunity to build the future you want and the life you desire. Why Youngstown State? Because we care about you, your success, and our future. Together. Youngstown State University. Now you know why. Welcome back. I'm John Ostapowitz, and this is your Student Life Update. Students in the YSU Society of Women Engineers are hopeful about starting their careers in engineering, an industry becoming more respective to industry and diversity and inclusion. The SWE organization provides a safe space for women to create friendships, network, and discuss difficulties they might be facing in their field. According to the 2023 Global Gender Report, women represent 29.2% of the STEM workforce in the 146 nations evaluated. Elena Zander, a junior civil engineering major and the vice president of SWE, encourages young women considering a degree in engineering should not be afraid of stepping outside of the comfort zone. Don't be afraid to go outside of your comfort zone on things. There's going to be a lot of different scenarios where you don't feel comfortable or you might be outnumbered, say, by men in classes or just in industry. But you have to make sure that you're not afraid to ask questions, whether that's in class or like in your internships. Engineering students interested in volunteering can join the Girl Scout Outreach on April 14th. Now, there are many platforms through which people can communicate and share stories. One of our reporters sat down with communications professor to discuss one of those forms. I'm Sydney Fairbanks here in the podcast studio of Bliss Hall with communications professor Adam Earnhardt. So, Adam, can you tell me why these studios were created? We had a lot of um, old recording equipment in here, so reel to reel and all that kind of stuff. And we're like, well, we got to do something with the space. And... Honestly, we wanted to do podcasting. It was just trying to find the right place to do it in. Uh, and so this was a natural fit. What would you say is the role or importance of the podcast studio? Yeah, it's just actually it's just another uh, mechanism, another uh, channel for students to practice their um, uh, content creation or their content creation skills. Um, this one just happens to be a popular one right now. Pod podcasting has been around with us since the 90s. Um, but it really kind of exploded in, in popularities. And now everybody wants to have a podcast. Well, and it's easy to do, too. Um, that's, that's the great thing. I mean, we're doing this video here, right? This is going to take you a while to edit, right? This takes no time to edit. So how would a student who wants to make a podcast get started? We are in the um, audio lab right now in Bliss Hall. And if a student wanted to get access to this, they would just come over and sign up for a spot, sign up for a time. Now, if you don't know how to use this, usually anybody in the audio lab um, can teach you how to use it pretty quickly. Reporting for the Jam Bar, I'm Sydney Fairbanks. 
Looking to tango on campus? Well, you can with YSU's Dance Club, which offers ballroom lessons each Tuesday at 7 p.m. in room 100 of Bigley Center. Classes are instructed by Matthew Feely, a YSU alumnus who teaches at Fred Astaire's Dance Studio. While dances are performed in pairs, attendees do not need to bring a partner. Dance Club President Celeste Kaplan said no experience is required. So the club is just to kind of learn a new skill. Um, you're dancing with people that you may not have met before, or if you keep coming, you're dancing with people that you've seen every week. So it's a really great place to meet people. Um, it's just kind of like a nice socializing, like de-stressing kind of environment. The Dance Club also aims to get involved in the Youngstown community and on campus. Last November, the club hosted a masquerade ball in hopes to plan a similar event in the fall. Cleveland-based band Grumpy Plum has reached millions of streams on Spotify. The band with 12,000 monthly listeners consists of drummer Maddie Zanin, vocalist and guitarist Tallulah Swayze, and bassist Laurel Illa. Their single, Dollhouse, from their first album, Don't Yell At Me, has reached over 2 million streams after the band's vocalist used it to create TikToks. Grumpy Plum performed at the Empower event on March 23rd at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame alongside Charity, Avona, and members of the School of Rock. The band plans to take on Cleveland throughout April as it performs with Small Crush on April 7th at Mahal's and with Mickey Darling on April 20th at the Grog Shop. That's all for the Student Life Update, but stick around for Taziah Howard with your weekly sports update. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever, we can ride, we can ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. We gon' push it to the limit. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever, we can ride, we can ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. So we gon' push it to the limit. We gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever. So, who knows why? I know why. For starters, I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. Can you say that? Engineering, sports, music, business, I can do anything here. I'm getting my hands dirty learning what my friends are only reading about. I'm part of something bigger here. I'm proud to bleed red and black. So yeah, I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. Why Youngstown State University? Because when it comes to the skills you need to take your place in the world, we take a backseat to nobody. Youngstown State University. Now you know why. Why Youngstown State University? Because I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. I can do anything here. I know why. It's not a question. It's the answer. Youngstown State University. Know why. All right, so, who knows why? I know why. For starters, I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. Can you say that? Engineering, sports, music, business, I can do anything here. I'm getting my hands dirty learning what my friends are only reading about. I'm part of something bigger here. I'm proud to bleed red and black. So yeah, I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. We gon' push it to the limit, we gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever, we can ride, we can ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. We gon' push it to the limit, we gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever, we can ride, we can ride together. So together we ride, certified, and together we ride. We gon' push it to the limit, we gon' rise together, side by side, to the finish. Gotta ride forever. Why Youngstown State University? Because when it comes to the skills you need to take your place in the world, we take a backseat to nobody. Youngstown State University. Now you know why. 
Why Youngstown State University? Because I'm getting a top tier education without the price tag. I can do anything here. I know why. It's not a question, it's the answer. Youngstown State University, know why. Welcome back to Jambar TV, I'm Tazai Howard, and this is your weekly sports update. Seven former Youngstown State University football players participated in the Pro Day at YSU on March 27th. Shortly after the 45-28 loss against Villanova in the second round of the FCS playoffs on December 2nd, seven YSU draft-eligible players announced that they were declaring to the 2024 NFL Draft. The seven players that declared for the Penguins were quarterback Mitch Davidson, wide receiver Bryce Oliver, linebacker Greg Benton Jr., tailback Dre Rushton, offensive lineman Ryan Johnson, and defensive backs Marcus Hooker and Quincy Lenton. The players' heights and weights were taken. After that, they participated in the vertical jump, the 225-pound bench press, broad jump, 40-yard dash, and then individual position drills. Scouts from three NFL teams were in attendance. The three teams were the Cleveland Browns, one from the Green Bay Packers, and one from the San Francisco 49ers. Hooker had the highest vertical jump as he jumped 36 inches. In the bench press portion, Benton led the group with 16 reps. In the broad jump, Hooker once again had the best jump as he went 10 feet, 3 inches. During the 40-yard dash, Oliver recorded the best time with a 4.48 and a 4.43 unofficial time. Benton ran a 4.56 and a 4.59 unofficial time. Former Ohio State and NFL quarterback Cardell Jones was in attendance, helping Davidson run through his individual passing. The two met last offseason and had been training together for Davidson's pro day. Davidson spoke highly about working with Jones and preparing him for this moment. Honestly, dude, it's been amazing. I mean, you, you look at a guy like him who did it at the highest level, you know, in college, and then, you know, that transferred to the NFL where he, he was actually pretty successful. And, you know, it was a draft pick, um, played in the XFL. He's been, he's been around everywhere, and he kind of knows the ropes. So to have a guy, you know, like Cardell Jones in my corner, you know, through this process has been nothing but amazing. The NFL Draft will take place in Detroit, Michigan from April 25th to 27th, which will include all seven rounds. Undrafted free agency will begin after the draft. The YSU softball team has seen an impressive stretch of wins over the past month. To recap the first place Penguins season so far, here's executive producer Dylan Lux. After a March 13th matchup against Kent State on the road, the Youngstown State softball team held an 11-10 record. Now the team is currently 22-10 an 11-game winning streak. The streak began on March 16th with a doubleheader win over Detroit Mercy, followed by a single victory over the Titans the following day. With the win streak at three games, the team traveled to Fort Wayne, Indiana for a matchup with Purdue Fort Wayne on March 22nd and 23rd. In a three-game series against the Macedons, Youngstown State prevailed with a sweep of PFW. A trip to St. Bonaventure, New York on March 27th was next for the Gwyns with a doubleheader against St. Bonaventure University. The Penguins scored a combined 23 runs in the two games, only allowing seven from the Bonnies. The two victories extended YSU's win streak to eight games. Senior Haley Niedercore said that hitting was a focal point of the team this offseason, which has helped lead the Penguins to a league-best 298 hitting percentage. We work a lot on our hitting um, to be dominant, um, to be aggressive. We, we work really hard on um, our movements and to be able to hit a ball with solid contact. Youngstown State's most recent matchup wrapped up the month of March with a three-game series against Wisconsin Green Bay at home March 29th and 31st. Three up and three down for the Penguins as they completed the sweep of the Phoenix at home. The Penguins now sit with a 9-0 conference record, two games ahead of second place Northern Kentucky University. Head coach Brian Campbell said the Horizon League is a competitive conference and YSU can't focus on stats alone. Three run home run in Youngstown State. Well, I think it comes down to our conference is so comparable, you know, as far as teams in there. And, and uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter who you're playing. and It doesn't matter what their record are when you walk into them. That, you know, it, it's, uh, it's about uh, doing the best you can and, and understand that you have to play, you know, every pitch and every, every inning to, to the best. Youngstown State is set to face off against Horizon League opponent Oakland University on April 5th and 6th. To watch the game against the Golden Grizzlies, go to ESPN+. Plus. And for live stats, visit statbroadcast.com. Reporting for Jambar TV, I'm Dylan Lux. Back to you, Josiah. Student athletes at YSU are putting on a game face outside of their sport. The Student Athlete Advisory Committee is dedicated to community service while connecting students with administrators. 
the organization has about 40 members who volunteer at least two hours each semester. YSU and Horizon League SAC president, Maddie Albeck, said the committee helps students make a difference in the community. Being able to put yourself out there and be someone outside of your sport and make a difference besides just like dribbling a basketball is what's cool about SAC. This semester, SAC is working with Special Olympics, Team Impact, and Ursuline Sisters Mission. The organization also serves as a liaison between student athletes and the athletic department. According to Albeck, administrators ask for SAC's input when making decisions. She says connections give students a voice. That's all we have for this week's sports update, but stick around when Reagan's going to be back in the, with Rather Recap. At the start of the weekend, we will see temps in the 40s with a lot of clouds. The chance for precipitation will fluctuate throughout the weekend, with Sunday being mostly sunny. On Monday, temps will reach the 60s which, with a mixture of clouds and sun. That's all we have for Jambar TV this week. Stay safe, Penguins. Support for Jambar TV is provided in part by the YSU Foundation and the Jane F. Lamb Charitable Foundation. Thank you.